protests erupt across Canada as 70,000 international students face deportation. Tens of thousands of international students took to the streets across Canada this week in a wave of protests against new immigration policies introduced by the federal government. According to a report by City News Toronto on Monday, the demonstrations, which drew approximately 70,000 students occurred in major provinces including Prince Edward Island, Ontario, Manitoba, and British Columbia. The protests came in response to a series of immigration reforms that have left many international students fearing deportation. In 2021, Canada abolished the post-graduation work permit program, which had previously allowed international students to gain valuable work experience in the country after completing their studies, compounding the issue. The federal government introduced a two-year cap on international student visas last year. As of 2023, international students made up 37% of study visa holders in Canada. However, the recent cap on student visas is expected to reduce the intake of foreign students by 35%, a move the government argues is necessary to alleviate pressures on housing, unemployment, and public services. I in June, the Canadian government further tightened regulations by announcing that foreign nationals would no longer be able to apply for a PGWP at the border. This decision has sparked fears among students who are concerned about their future in Canada. Student advocacy groups, including the Najawan Support Network, have warned that many international graduates could face deportation once their work permits expire at the end of the year. I spent six years taking risks to come to Canada. I studied, worked, paid taxes, and earned enough comprehensive ranking system points, but the government has taken advantage of us, a former international student now facing the prospect of deportation, Mahakdeep Singh said. The situation has also been aggravated by new provincial policies, including a 25% reduction in permanent residency nominations, further limiting the pathways for international students to remain in Canada. Similarly, immigrant workers have also staged rallies in cities like Brampton, countering claims that they are contributing to local housing and job crises.